And in this chapter, we'll cover projected sections, which is a very common question. This is a variant on a regular section viewport, so we'll start by creating that. Go to the View menu, then click Create Section Viewport. And we're going to want the first click just slightly to the left here. Go all the way to the right. You can hold Shift down to make that lock into straight if you want. Second click, and the third click will double click at the rear of the building here. Now we want to create this on a new sheet layer. And we'll just name it Projected Sections. Click OK. And Hidden Line is fine for this. We want to click Rendering Settings. And we want to uncheck Sketch Hidden Line Results if it's still checked there from the earlier time we used that. Smoothing Angle can stay at zero. That's fine. Click OK. And then click OK. And the section will be generated. And this can take a little bit. And here we are with the Created Section Viewport. And what we do is select the viewport. And then the Object Info Palette, scroll down. And for projection, not perspective, but oblique cabinet 45 is my favorite. Click that option, scroll up, and click update on this viewport. And let that render. And there we are. That's how you achieve that effect. Another thing I want to note here, do you see this? The drawing area page area here? If we move this viewport over, do you notice how you can see it through the actual viewport, that's not what we normally would want. That will happen if your viewport has a fill of none, and that's easy enough to correct. We'll go ahead and turn on attributes. You might already have it on. I'll go to Window, Palettes, and Attributes. And I'll just give this viewport a solid fill of white is fine. There we are. Problem solved. Just wanted to add that quick tip onto the end of this.